Hi friends, welcome to this class. So in last class we discussed what are prostaglandins and structure of prostaglandins, right? General formula structure we have discussed, right? So in this class let us give the nomenclature for all these compounds, right? So all these are nothing but prostaglandins. All these contains carbon, 20 number of carbons. Just you count if any missing, just you add carbons, right? I have written it right, I hope, right? So what we discussed, so what is this? Which one it is? It is PG. A, B, it is PG, B, alpha, beta doesn't come because C9, no steric chemistry, only one pi, pi bond, so it is PG, B1, right, so this is the structure of PG, B1, like that you should do the nomenclature for all, right, so let me revise you what we learned in last class, so this one is A, other things here always it is below the plane and here above the plane and this chain continues like this, right, chain continues so here always below the plane above the plane here i have not mentioned the stereochemistry it is below above you should remember now because i have told it is always below it is always above so this thing you should do by yourself here i have mentioned it but here all this case i haven't mentioned anything right so this is nothing but a right so this is nothing but the structure of a and what is the structure of this this is what this is nothing but my b right so if i write the structure like this what is this this is my c a b c right so b means what now instead of ketone i will get below the plane o h and this ketone will come here other things remain as it is side chain right so it is a and it is b now it is c now it is d since c9 there is below the plane so it is alpha right Next comes E. Structure of E means here ketone will be there, but stereochemistry comes here. But this stereochemistry we not mention in our simple nomenclature. So it is simply E. Right. P G E A B C D E. And now comes F. These things you should remember as I have done. So if below the plane and here also H OH is there. Right. So this is nothing but my F, but since it is below the plane, it is alpha. If I write this OH above the plane like this and this OH remains as it is and other things remains then it is F beta. Now you should do the nomenclature for all these things. I hope you remember now what we have discussed in our previous class. So same things now we are going to see. Right. So what is the structure? This is nothing but my A. So it becomes PG means prostaglandins and it is A number of pi bonds in side chain so here n is nothing but 2 this is pga2 what is the structure of this this is nothing but our e right so it is pg e number of pi bonds is 2 so pge2 and here it is f it is what kind of f since it is above the plane so it is pg f beta it is beta means above the plane right so how many number of pi bonds 1 and 2 so it is nothing but pgf beta 2 right so this is how so what is the structure of this one this is c it is same as like this so it is d alpha so it is because below the plane so it is pg d alpha and pi bonds is only one side chain pi bonds so pg d alpha 1 right so what is the structure of this this is nothing but pg c it is number of pi bonds only one pg c 1 right no alpha or beta because C9 alpha or beta depends upon only C9 stereochemistry. So here no C9 stereochemistry. So <coughs> you have mentioned but here C9 stereochemistry is there. Since it is above I have mentioned beta. Here also C9 stereochemistry since it is below I have mentioned it alpha. Right. And what are these? These structures we have all studied right. So these are nothing but simply C. If A, B, C, D, E, F then comes G right so this is G G what happens is that one thing you should remember in this main ring that is cyclopropane ring it will be having this structure so this stands for G but the same structure is present in H also right how you will mention whether it is G or H that is done by this thing right so this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on C 15 carbon if there is OOH that is peroxide bond we call 
peroxy oxygen right peroxide o bond is there then it is g so it it becomes pg g right number of pi bonds if you count in side chain 1 and 2 so it is 2 and every everything you should remember c here i have pi bond but we are not going to count this while writing this n because n stands for number of pi bonds in side chain so 1 pi bond 2 pi bond so 2 we are not going to mention this pi bond in this n right so because this pi bond will be counted in a only because a structure means that is with the pi bond the a structure is like that only right so this thing you should remember so this is the structure of pg g2 two means number of pi bonds in side chain why it is g because at c 15 position peroxy bond is there o bond so it is pg g2 see here it is having same like g only this thing so cyclopropyl ring and uh, side chain also same number of uh, pi bonds so it is uh, again pg n is nothing but 2 but whether it is g or h c here at c15 this is c15 instead of having o bond that is peroxide bond i have simply have oh so it is h pg h2 right so it is pg h2 right so this thing you should remember so it is the structure of pg g2 and it is the pg h2 right so these are the different type of prostaglandins which are present in our body or any animals right and these will have some functions on the damaged tissues like blood clotting they will do sometimes if uh, so many things are there right that we will see in the upcoming videos right functions of prostaglandins i will mention or biological roles or physiological roles of prostaglandins there you will study right so i hope now if i give if i tell you to write the structure of pg uh, c1 can you write you should write now because i have told you so many things if i write uh, if i tell you to write the pg uh, e2 structure you should be able to write now so pg pg means prostaglandin e means this structure so what you will do you will write e first double bond o here o so steric chemistry will not come here and here it will be always below and here it is always above so this position always i have to 9 means it will be 8 8 means 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 coh right e2 is there right e2 means two pi bonds should be there right one pi bond will be here and other pi bond will be somewhere here right like this the pi bonds will be there so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so it becomes pg e2 right so sometimes we will get confusion here if you see this is trans alkene this is also trans alkene sometimes they will give it as cis alkene only like this so it is 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 8 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so like this also they will give coh right so this is also pg e2 because what we know pg e means this one two means number of uh, pi bonds in side chain but we are not going to mention whether it is uh, e or z if you see it is trans whereas this is cis so we call it as z where it is e but that we will not mention in this nomenclature right so this thing also you should remember right so once we are done with all these things now we you know what are prostaglandins and their structures how to write what is n what is alpha what is x right so many things so let me give one more structure the structure of pgi2 this is also we have not discussed right we have discussed only x is equal to a b c d d alpha we have discussed e f alpha f beta g h and now comes i so what is this i structure of pg i2 i2 means two num yeah, pi bonds are there side chain pi bonds right so its structure is like this see so cyclopropyl ring is there no doubt below the plane o is there and here below the plane oh and here above like this and here they have mentioned like this oh right 
and here what they are having like this they are having yes right double bond here and other things will be like this only it becomes cis here right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so it is having seen 20 number of pi bond pi bond if you see here one pi bond and here one pi bond so n is nothing but 2 so it becomes pg and i have told this is the structure of i pgi2 so that is the structure of pgi2 so this is the thing with prostaglandins right in next class let us see biosynthesis of prostaglandins till then take care and have a great day